Hey everyone, welcome back to the range. Challenge accepted. Here we have an RMA armament model 1189 plate and we have some 762 NATO M993 armor piercing to test today against this plate. We'll be at 45 feet, our NIJ testing distance. We have our clay briefcase to use as a backer. It's approximately 20 degrees outside and snowing as you can see. So we won't get a good representation of back face, but it'll be a good compressible media. We have two barrel lengths that we will test this out of today. A 16 inch, which will give us approximately about a 75 to 100 yard equivalent shot. Then we have a 22 inch barrel. We have our Pro Chrono Digital as always. With our NIJ level four, we performed a drop test that I'll do a picture in picture here. You can see I dropped this plate on its face twice. Let's set up and do this test. So up first, we'll grab the 16 inch Desert Tech MDR. We have one round. We'll take a shot in the upper left hand plate and then we'll go check it out. Then we'll go, go by ah. diesel after this. Velocity 2867. So here is our shot right here. There goes unknowns. Ho! Oh. Hey, look at that. No pass through. You can smell the uh, ceramic burning there, but we don't have a pass through. So that means we're going to have to go to the 22 inch barrel. All right, now we'll step up to the 22 inch barrel. We should see over 3,000 feet per second out of this guy. I'll take a shot on the lower left side of the plate so we're plenty far away from the uh, previous shot. Velocity 3016. Here is our second shot down here. We should be far enough away from this first shot and this is a tile array plate. So crack propagation should be pretty controlled. Unfortunately though, we do have a pass through. I'll have to come up and get a close-up shot of there, but there is a pass through there. There's our hole there. I don't see one in the back side of my wood here, so it's possible that it's somewhere inside the clay. I'll maybe try to have to dig it out or something, but with it being as hard as this, it's not going to come out. Let's try another round while we're at it. This is the 152 grain new Lennox tungsten core round. We tested these prior against some level 4 and the 22 inch barrel penetrated. We'll see out of the 16 inch what's going to happen against this tougher level 4 plate. Velocity 25.94. Here was our shot right here. I think we're a little close maybe to the edge, but it looks like we got a solid hit on there. What do you guys think? Oh, no pass through. Here's the back of our plate. We've got a little bit of a dimple going, but nothing too bad. I've seen worse. Like I said, the clay is cold, so we're not going to get a good representation of back face, but that's amazing that it stopped it. We'll do the 22 inch just because to see if this tougher level four plate will stop it. So now we'll grab the 22 inch, our new Lennox again. We should see right around 27, 2800 feet per second. Go we'll for the bottom right. Velocity 28.07. Here is our shot here with the new Lennox. A little close to the side there, there is a foam ring on this particular plate, but it looks like we got a majority of the ceramic hit there. What do you guys think? There is no pass through there. These previous two holes are from another test. Here's our dimple of our back face. Here you can see the plate polyethylene being pushed out, but it actually stopped it. That's amazing. Well, color me impressed. We were able to stop M993 out of the 16 inch barrel, which is pretty much the equivalent to about a 75 or 100 yard engagement. The 22 inch barrel did penetrate. 
Our new Lennox though was stopped in both barrel lengths, more than likely because it's a heavier projectile moving at slower speeds even though it's tungsten core. I'd like to thank RMA Armament for providing us with plates to test. Definitely not the Michigan weather for the snow we got today. My Patreon supporters and you all for watching. Until next time, catch you at the range.